Hello, welcome to this clip in which we will talk about cell reference and what you can do with it when you're not entering data, but we will try to perform some action. Recall that you can reference a cell by the column name and the row. So if I'm in this cell, that is um, cell um, H2. So the simplest example and all of the examples that I'm showing you here in this clip don't really make, make much sense. So I'm just using them to illustrate uh, what you can do with them. So suppose I wanted to copy um, or duplicate the names, um, meaning I want to copy the contents of um, column A into column H. Um, I could do that by entering the data manually, but I can also reference the cell. Now, because I'm not entering data, but I'm um, entering a variable or a reference or perform a function, I will need the equal sign. So equal tells Excel, hey, this is not data entry. This is um, a reference to something else. So if I just want to copy the contents of column A, then I can say A2, which um, Excel immediately recognizes, aha, you're referencing cell A2, which is a gather. If I hit enter, that will just copy um, the content of cell A2. So what you see is the value, but what is still in the cell, quite technically, is the function that you entered. And you can also drag it down, um, or if you wanna practice that, double click would have the same effect. Now I can use that for more complex um, situations. So um, suppose I wanted to determine um, score over age, meaning I wanted to divide the contents of uh, column C by the contents of uh, column B. Then I can do the similar thing, equal sign uh, C2 over B2. Also drag it down. And then these um, data sets here are pairwise um, divided. If I do something that doesn't make much sense, uh, such as name over age, that would be A2 over B2. Um, that gives you an error because Excel says, well, hey, you can't divide uh, a name or character a value by a numerical value. Similarly, if you were to do a score over naught, uh, so that would be something like um, C2 divided by K2, uh, which is an empty column, so it's yet undefined. Uh, that would also give you an error of a different kind, but this basically tells you you can't divide by zero. The um, cool thing is that you can now reference not just by columns, basically, but you could also reference by a constant. So if we uh, delete that, um, suppose you had a multiplier for some reason, okay, which was um, eight, and you wanted to uh, multiply um, score times uh, eight, or well, whatever, uh, you could say, uh, okay, that is um, C2 times J2, right? So the content of C2 divide, uh, multiplied by the content of A2. So that's 144. And the interesting thing is, um, of course, if you change this value, that would automatically update the value in the cell as well. Now one thing, and that's a bit more advanced, uh, of course, if you drag this one down here, it doesn't actually give you a result. It doesn't give you an error either. Um, so it's not the divided or multiplied by uh, something, something, although the multiplied by um, zero because nothing in there uh, would essentially be zero. But what happens is that as you drag it down, um, Excel updates that. So in, if in the first cell you have C2 times J2, um, that for this cell then would be C3 times J3. And because there's no value in there, that will give you um, that um, wrong uh, value or not the value that you wanted. 
So if you want to operate with a constant where this doesn't uh, change, then you would have to update your um, uh, formula as follows because the J2 is supposed to stay constant. So you enter a dollar sign right before the two, which says uh, keep this one uh, constant. Right, and then you just have to update it, and there you go, uh, all multiplied by 10. Uh, if you change that back to 8, it would update all the values um, as well. Okay, that's it. Bye.